welcome students today we will discuss about compound microscope now a compound microscope is an optical device used to see the magnified image of tiny objects these compound microscopes has very high power they can produce the magnification up to 1000 now in today's class we will Derive the magnifying power of the compound microscope when the final image is formed at least distance of distinct vision with the help of the diagram. Now before we further dive into the topic, let us understand the construction of the compound microscope. Your compound microscope consists of two convex lenses. The first lens is your objective which is of shorter focal length the next lens is your eyepiece which has a larger focal length the objective is a convex lens of very short focal length and we denotes its focal length by f0 if this is the principal focus then this distance is how much f0 now the eyepiece is a, also a convex lens but it has a larger focal length as compared to your objective. If this is your principal focus then this length is the focal length of the eyepiece and the focal length of the eyepiece is large as compared to the focal length of your objective. Next your eyepiece is generally placed close to the eye fine now let us understand the working of the compound microscope let us see how the image is formed fine so let us first consider with the objective now in case of your objective I'll use blue color your objective has a focal length f0 and a principal focus f0 dash now an object ab is placed in front of your objective fine the rays starting from the top let us say point a moves parallel to the principal axis undergoes refraction and passes through the principal focus fine now the second ray passes through the center and it pass undeviated now a image is formed this image we will denote it as a dash b dash clear so your object a b which is placed at a distance u naught forms the image a dash b dash at distance v naught from your objective okay yeah this small o represents your objective fine now the distance between the objective and eyepiece is so adjusted that the image a dash b dash is formed between the focal length of eyepiece now what does this means let us say we have a eyepiece i'll use the red color for this one this is my eyepiece this eyepiece has a focal length f e now we have adjusted the distance between your objective and eyepiece in such a manner that my image a dash b dash is formed between the focal length of the eyepiece can you see fine now let us consider the image a dash b dash now this image a dash b dash will act as an object for your eyepiece clear so the rays moving parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus similarly the rays moving through the center passes undeviated 
now they are not intersecting here so what we will do we will extend it or we will draw the imaginary lines up till this point fine so what do you notice your eyepiece forms your virtual image a double dash b dash which is of height h double dash now this image a double dash b dash is inverted as compared to your object a b is it clear so if this was your object a b for the normal human eye what happens you see this is the point where the rays strike for the objective so at this point only we will see the image so i'll use a green color so the image will come at this point and this is how we will see the image of ab which is a double dash b dash this object ab has a height h and the image a double dash b dash has a height h double dash is it clear this is how your compound microscope works now let us discuss the magnifying power the magnifying power of the compound microscope is defined as the ratio of the angle at the eye by the final virtual image to the angle subtended at the eye by the object when both are at least distance of distinct vision from the eye now what does this mean when your image a double dash b dash is formed at least distance of distinct vision it forms some angle and this angle we have denoted as beta now next your object ab will place it at a distance of least distance of distinct vision from the eye so this object also makes some angle and we will denote it as alpha so we have two angles beta and alpha so magnifying power is defined as the ratio of the angle subtended by the image beta to the angle subtended by the object alpha at least distance of distinct vision to the eye now since your beta and alpha are very small angles so i can write beta as tan beta alpha as tan alpha now let us consider for tan beta consider your triangle a dash b dash e fine now this is the object a dash b dash let us consider the height of the object h dash now this is your object which is at a distance ue from the ips so your tan beta will be opposite side h dash divided by your adjacent side ue so i have written tan beta equals to h dash by ue fine now let us consider for your tan alpha now for your tan alpha consider this triangle a b this one now in this triangle tan alpha will be the opposite side h divided by your adjacent side capital d so i have written h by capital d this ue will go to the denominator and this capital d will go to the numerator so i can write this or i can simplify it as h dash by ue this h will be at denominator this d will go to the numerator so h dash by d now let us write this h here and ue here so i have h dash by h times d by ue is it clear now let us consider this one as m 
O and this D by U E S M E. Now what is M O? M O is the magnification produced by the objective. So I can write M O which is H dash by H H dash by H and we know from the linear magnification of a convex lens h dash by h can also be written as image distance formed by the objective to the object distance formed by the objective which is v naught by u naught clear next m e is the magnification produced by the eyepiece so m e equals to d by u e so i have written d by u e now your eyepiece it acted as a simple microscope so i can use the formula of the magnifying power by simple microscope which was m equals to d by u equals to 1 plus d by f so using this formula i can write d by u e as 1 plus d by f e so i've written magnification produced by the eyepiece fine now consider your object a v let us consider it to be placed at the focus of your objective if this is your focus then this is your focal length of the objective now in such case what will happen your u o and your f o will be equal your u o will be approximately equal to f o fine so let us consider this one as your first condition okay this negative sign is due to the sign convention because we are measuring it from which direction right to left and we know the focal length for your convex lens is negative the another consideration let us consider your image a dash b dash okay it to be formed very close to the eyepiece let us consider the eye is somewhere here fine this is my eyepiece so the image is formed at the eyepiece so in that case what do you see let us consider the distance between the objective and the eyepiece as l then your object distance for the objective will be equal to the distance between the objective and the eyepiece so i can say v naught equals to l fine so let us make this to assumption now we have derived mo the magnification produced by the objective mo equals to h dash by h v by u naught we need this one so m equals to v o by u naught so v o is how much capital l so i have written capital l u o is how much minus f o so i have written minus f o fine now we know magnification m o is the magnification produced by the objective m e is the magnification produced by the eyepiece therefore my total magnification is m o times m e now m o equals to l by minus f o so i have written l by minus f o and what is my m e m e is 1 plus d by f e so i have written 1 plus d by f e so this gives us the expression for the magnifying power of the compound microscope when the final image is formed at least distance of distinct vision for your homework you can derive the magnifying power of the compound microscope when the final image will be formed at 
infinity fine so that's it for today's class thank you